Alright, those were some pretty decent fights, I would say. Let's talk about the thought process behind the setup um, I, and the changes I made along the way. Um, so, the setup idea is not new, like we've seen it before. Um, last year, for example, on the winter sites, where uh, those sites were primarily run by marauders. Um, created like room for hunters to hunt those uh, PvE fitted marauders and kill them and then uh, naturally some people disguise themselves as PvE marauders but were actually PvP fits or like capable PvP pilots and then um, they killed uh, the attackers so that's basically the gist of it um, I've explained it in some comments uh, on those clips already a uh, friend of mine, Blue, is in a very defensive fitted uh, Kronos um, with uh, two batteries um, and with those um, anti-drain drags and two batteries you get like 57% cap warfare resistance which is key for most uh, gank marauder fights. You don't really bring like 10k DPS to the fight uh, you bring um, newts most of the time because uh, it's way easier to kill a Kronos with newts than with like X amount of DPS that he could theoretically tank. Um, yeah, because you you can't really tank um, newts unless you're specifically fitted for it. And most PVE fits or most fits can't deal with a um, heavy amount of newts. Um, uh, sometimes you have double cap booster which is uh, great on a short term if you have if you just want raw raw power cap output for a short amount of time but I went for the defensive long haul fit with like good new resistance and then a single cap booster on the first marauder. Um so and the rest of the fit is also very I really focus on PvP, so it's obviously in high grade S clad pods on uh, on both Marauders. Um, the peak performance without links is uh, 11k DPS and 3200 um, uh, 3200 uh, DPS. Uh, first Marauder is getting taking hard shell if the damage is high, obviously. And with Pyro, you do like 3500 DPS. Um, the reps are not in crazy expensive. They were around 300, 300 to 400 million on both Marauders. Um, some were like negative X type rolls. Um, but yeah, that's basically very basic. Uh, it's like a, just a normal Kronos fit um, designed to take the initial, uh, initial hit, I guess. And then the second Kronos for me is very similar but um it, it had a cloak uh to cloak next door and not be on d scan uh that was an issue against the bombers in the first clip you saw i i spent ages locking frigates and then i got stamped out or i jammed and those locking attempts got cancelled again and yada 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 so terrible against frigs um this cloak but necessary to to not not uh, get get scouted before um so yeah, the second fit is having a grappler instead of the second battery because at some point we need a grappler in the fight um, it's, it just doesn't work without. Uh, otherwise you get sick tanked by like tender man cruisers for ages. It's not fun. Um, and then uh, yeah, the reps are the same here. Uh, like some, some are wildly... Uh, some some weird values here on the roads. That's why they're not high-end mods, but like 300 to 100 million DPS uh, mods are also like less than 27, 27%, so like around 100 million. And um, yeah, so those are the sets without links. Uh, with the Magus, um, they obviously uh, perform a bit better. You saw in the second, no, in the first clip where I did link up the first time and my Kronosil had Invuln that almost killed me. Um, I was going into structure and then blue killed uh, uh, Bombas and I got this, the second link cycle off and then I started tanking even with cold reps. 
so it was fine, but uh, not the not the fight I want to retake. Um, not really, not really our idea of a fight. The main idea of the setup was going against um, smaller groups of uh, attackers. So uh, the second clip uh, where um, Marauders came and um, it was a very slow paced fight. We could get our alts in or like the, we got, we could get the um, curse in from blue um, to create cap pressure on the Marauders and slowly kill them and um, control them with uh, TD and GD uh, to protect the curse. And um, yeah, you saw in one clip where we killed a PvE Legion. Uh, I used a DD Hunter Lechesis on Magnus. It was the initial idea I had that when we don't get um, ganked or like when we don't get uh, hunted while we are in space, we can also hunt surrounding systems or other PvE marauders or maybe even PvP marauders and tackle, they get the initial tackle with those um, classic um, DD hunter led Jesuses that are high grade crystals and XL last rep. Um, to, to get initial point at like uh, long range and then even be able to cut MJDs with the scram. But there weren't any models in space really. Um, we barely saw any and the ones I, uh, we saw didn't get tackled by the ledge. So I just um, canceled the idea again and ha did use a classic standard Magus um, with a low align speed. So you push in. Uh, you link up and you warp out again, um, nothing special. Um, has some panic button uh, capabilities with the burst ram and MJD, but um, nothing nothing special really. Uh, we did use it uh, quite a bit um, at the end of the day, so it's definitely a better choice than uh, the Legisus. Um But yeah, the rest of the setup is Pretty straightforward, just an armor curse for enemy marauders, and then the Kronos is quite quite brawl intensive. Um, I mean, you saw it in the clips. We had we had decent fights, we had bad fights, um, but uh, we survived so far all of them, and we had quite a bit of fun. And um, yeah, that's about it. I hope you had fun watching, and see you next time.